Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another Sneaker Talk video. The series where I cover the latest sneaker releases, I cover the latest sneaker news, and of course in the series, well, we just discuss anything to do with shoes, boots, or sneakers. Now in today's video, I'm going to be covering everything to do with an upcoming release, an upcoming collaborative release at that. What I'm going to be covering in today's video is the collaboration between Supreme New York and Nike as they are collaborating on a couple pairs of the Shock Ride 2 for week 18 of Supreme's Spring Summer 2022 collection. Well, okay, I was kind of debating do I do a sneaker talk video or a streetwear talk video because it's collaboration on top of the pairs that they are doing. They're also doing a dry fit running hat as well, which is themed like the uh, shoes itself. So I was kind of like, uh, because of the hat, I could do a streetwear talk video, but I stuck with a sneaker talk video because well, the main reason that they're collaborating is to do with the Shock Ride 2s, which are interesting model to choose. <laughs> Out of Nike's whole catalog, the Shock Ride 2 would uh, not be my first shoe to pick up. I was collaborating with them, but each to their own. Uh, so yeah, in today's video, we'll be covering the release details to do with this collab. Uh, all the official images in both the editorial and the individual pics as well. And of course, I'll sprinkle my thoughts and opinions throughout. Now, how we're going to cover all those details is by using a Hype Beast article. We'll head on over to that article now and we'll start covering the release details for this week 18 collab. So here we are at the Hype Beast article that we'll be using today, guys. It'll be linked down in that description section below if you want to check it out for yourselves. We'll quickly cover the release details for this collaboration. So, the Supreme X Nike Shock Ride 2 will come accompanied with a dry fit running hat coming in the same colorways. The dry fit mesh caps are decorated with embroidered logos and a reflective logo webbing strap closure. There's some details on the cap and the collaboration will see a release via Supreme's online website on June 23rd, which it is currently what the 21st judging by that yeah tuesday the 21st june the 23rd that's thursday that checks out 11 a.m edt time in the united states uh and then it'll be dropping two days later for the lovely people of japan uh on the 25th on the sunday 11 a.m japanese standard time in store and online now for the uk you will be getting at 5 p.m central european standard time and the no wait yeah, UK, it's 4 p.m. British Standard Time. EU, it's 5 p.m. Central European Standard Time. I've got to remember all these time zones. <laughs> we will double confirm that when I do the drop list video for week 18. So stay tuned for that. But that is all the release details. Uh, if you guys have any further questions about the drop, drop them in that comment section below. And I'll help you out the best I can there. So now that we've covered all the release details for this collab, it's either dropping on the 23rd or the 25th depending on where you live. Let's see what we're getting in this week 18 collab. Let's dive into the editorial photos and see some people rocking these uh, Shock Ride 2s on foot. So as we can see here, we get a side profile of how they're actually looking. Look, in all fairness, the Shock Ride 2, it's very much a dad shoe. It looks like something I could see someone rocking with some washed out blue jeans, a white tee, maybe picking up and like a like a dad cap as well i can see the fit uh it's just that most of the people that i see rocking shocks are like bogans that are playing like australian drill or something <laughs> like it's not the demographic that i think that this shoe could really work with now the red ones you can totally miss me with that that's a little bit too like it's just a little bit too wild but you know you know, like, you know, like, it could work. The green ones, the silvery ones here. I don't know why they went with the red detailing on the, um, on the actual supporting mechanism on the back there, but, you know, you know, like, there are some colors. Now, if there's matching caps for all the colors that are coming out, there'll be a nice gray one. Like, I can see it. I can see the fit coming together, but, yeah, I just know that the shocks aren't exactly for that, like, dad, uh, streetwear demographic. 
but I really feel if you're like oversized jeans, a basic tee, or like a just like the dad fit, I feel like these could work. If you're rocking New Balance a lot of the time, I feel like it could be pretty interchangeable here if you're rocking like the just a lot of the New Balance silhouettes that are very dad esque. Uh, yeah, I feel like this silhouette definitely could be added to your uh, portfolio of shoes very easily, but uh, people will feel very differently about it. Would I rock this? Absolutely not. <laughs> not that they're going to make it in a US 16 or 17, but I would not wear something like this. But I can see who would and who would look good in it. So there's that at least, right? So that's the editorial. We've only got five images and one showcasing the hat. Uh, so I guess we'll dive into the individual images now, the rest of the 16 images, and have a look at all the colorways in better detail. So here they are. I, I Look, I hate all red shoes. There's... I mean, I don't, I don't want to go on record saying every single all red shoe just looks ugly because then I feel like someone's going to go out there and find that one red shoe that's passable or okay. But <laughs> like in like large, like the large majority, all red shoes, it's a no for me. You, you need a little bit of something else. It's just, and the red they always choose is just a really ugly red. I just can't do it. It's just not for me. Maybe you guys feel differently because you got like a red track suit and you have to have the red shoes to match and I can kind of see that like if you're rocking like a red track suit with the red shoes, the red cap, like I could kind of see it working out for you, but there's just going to be way better colorways releasing of this thing. There's all the details there, shocks, it's got Supreme on the shocks, you know, um, the port. I mean, it's kind of goofy, it's kind of fun, but yeah, I, I just, I'm not a huge fan of the silhouette. We got the green ones, I think they're probably the better colorway that I've seen out of them so far, but I'm willing to, you know, maybe there's a colorway I haven't seen from the editorial, but yeah, the green's not too bad. I could see this working with a couple fits. Uh, we've got black, pretty safe, probably the safest colorway if you want, like a dad looking shoe that you could rock with, yeah, baggy pants, maybe a, a nice tee. This is really safe because it's all black. People aren't going to look at it straight away, but it's going to complement the fit for sure. Definitely. I think, yeah, definitely think this could work out. We've got that silver and white colorway. Uh, look, I was initially not a huge fan of the red detailing at the back, but it matches all the red branding on the tongue and the back area and the toe box there. I've, I've, yeah, I've come around it. It makes sense. If it was just on the back there, I would have disagreed on it. But now that it matches other details on the shoe, yeah, okay, I'll get around that. That's not too bad. Yeah, there it is there. See, it matches the details. I don't mind that. And there's a showcasing of all the colorways. So we're getting four in total. Very, oh, do we get a showcasing of all the hats? We do, okay, here we go. So, matching hats for all the colorways. Strap at the back. It looks like it's glowing, so 3M detailing. Not sure if it's 3M on the front, but the photo that we did see of it was in the dark. So maybe that's also 3M. Uh, yeah, I mean, as I said, if you get the matching hat with the shoes, and then, as I was saying, super baggy jeans, like, I'm not talking straight leg, I'm talking wide, like, it, very, very wide, 90s type wide, uh, and then just a basic tee, or maybe a tee with, like, a goofy graphic on it, or something like that, I can see the fit, I can see the whole outfit, it'll look really cool, or a tracksuit, really baggy tracksuit, that could work really well, yeah, like a, um, like a polyester or nylon tracksuit. Yeah, for sure. And not a tight fitting one. Baggy. We're going baggy with these shoes. I can see the fits. I can see the outfits. But for me, with my, you know, tasting clothing, with what I've got, I, I it wouldn't work well with what, what I've got. But I could see it working for some people. It's just going to be a case by case basis on like what kind of clothing you wear, that type deal. So yeah, it's not going to be for me. It's not going to be for everyone. Um, it's okay. It's for a very niche market. Um, it's pretty esoteric, but I'm sure some of you can get around it. I'm sure, I'm sure some of you guys dress like dads, wear track suits, etc., etc. And this could be something that could work for you. But uh, for me, it's going to be a pass. But I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it, guys. It's releasing this week on Thursday. Um, let me know if you're feeling any of the colorways. Maybe you think this is too gross. Maybe you're like, nah, dude, I love my dad's shoes, but I'm sticking with my New Balance. That's totally fine as well. <laughs> I would just love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this Supreme Knight collab down in that comment section below.
Well, that's everything to cover, guys. Uh, it's releasing this week for week 18 of Supreme's Spring Summer 2022 collection, which will be one of the last few weeks of this season. Uh, it's releasing 23rd or 25th of June 2022, depending on your region. We don't know the retail price, but we'll probably know that when we do the drop list video, as it will probably be released by then. So stay tuned for that drop list video when we cover all of week 18. Uh, we know there's going to be some matching caps to go along with it uh yeah and we know all the colorways it's coming in red i'm gonna say white black and then a green um uh, which i think the green is yeah kind of a surprise and quite uh, quite a nice one at that but i'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it if you're picking it up or not and if you are picking it up which colorways you're picking up uh yeah i feel like this is going to be very like the people that rock dead shoes and have that aesthetic it's going to be perfect for them most other people Maybe not so much. I mean, you can obviously get it if you don't rock that whole dead aesthetic. I just think it's going to work the best with that aesthetic. But what do I know? <laughs> what, what, can, what, what could I possibly know? Either way, uh, look, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it. And if you're copying it or not, down in that comment section below. And of course, guys, if you want me to keep covering upcoming Supreme collaborations, upcoming Supreme releases with Nike, or just upcoming Nike releases, gotta give me the three indicators I'm always asking you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator of them all, a subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Now we are literally one sub off the new subscriber milestone that we're trying to hit this month. We are trying to hit 3375 and we are on 3374. So come on guys, tell two of your mates, Hopefully one of them will sub. <laughs> Hopefully we can reach 3375 before the end of the month. That's all I got to say about this collab though, guys. I wish you the best of luck if you are going for it. I hope you managed to pick it up in the size and color that you are after. But until the next streetwear talk video, until the next sneaker talk video, until the next Supreme video, guys, I'll catch you later.